A school project turned into a real life threat. A uh, St. Paul Science Club of 7th and 8th graders were testing water samples near their school and they were shocked by what they found. WCCL's Mariel Mose explains. Behind Achieve Language Academy in St. Paul. So we want to fill up that jar at least halfway. Is a beautiful lake that makes the perfect outdoor science classroom for teacher Emily Von Driska. We want like 100 milliliters. She's helping seventh grader Faith Oyurindi collect a water sample from Beaver Lake. We can see lots of green plant debris and living some living things in there. This is exactly what she did with eight middle schoolers from her conservation club back in April when the lake first thawed. They took samples back to their classroom and separated the water from whatever solids are in it. And now I've got this disc here. Then they transferred the graph like paper over to the microscope. I was the first one to look at the first disc and I thought I was hallucinating. Here's what the conservation club was seeing microplastics. I counted about 100 pieces of what appear to be plastic and fiber. Von Driska feels this discovery isn't something to ignore. I think the community needs to know this. She worries about people who are swimming and fishing in Beaver Lake. And so the way it holds itself and that algae... Worry aside, this project water. taught these kids how much they can learn right in their backyards. But it's up to them to find it and do something about it. You be curious. Curiosity sparks this interest. And if it's something good or bad, then it's going to promote awareness and it's going to educate everybody else. In St. Paul, Mary Elmo's WCCO News. The Minnesota Pollution Control Agency's that lakes are unregulated, but it does encourage people to reduce plastic use and properly dispose of plastics. They say there is still limited research on the health impacts from microplastics.